Today we are going to look at some techniques I used with the Tektronix TDS 2000 series scopes during development of a commercial object detection sensor which uses the pulsed RF techniques of microwave impulse radar or MIR. One cool thing about MIR is that it provides direct time scaling between all attributes of the RF signal during the direct down conversion to audio frequencies. This results in the apparent slowing of the flight time of the RF energy from the realm of nanoseconds to the realm of milliseconds when measured in the receiver. This drawing illustrates the sensor, the maximum detection range, and most importantly demonstrates that distance equals time in the received signal. A pin available on the sensor interface provides access to the actual received waveform along with a superimposed sync pulse for easy triggering on a scope. This allows us to see successive scans, each started at time zero as designated here. Here we demonstrate an object in the field of view of the receiver, which reflects energy back to the receiver and shows the resulting waveform we would expect. Now onto the fun stuff. Here we have the Tech 2014B scope looking at a real receiver signal on channel one. We are set up for for level triggering on the falling edge of the embedded sync pulse. We can see the sync pulse followed by the transmitter energy which bleeds back into the receiver path. I adjust the display to be delayed about 40 milliseconds from the scope trigger. We can see the time between successive scans of the sensor is about 70 milliseconds. A signal reflected back to the sensor at 70 milliseconds in time would correspond to a distance of about 32 feet. While looking at the receiver signal using a long time base setting, we will set up an object in the received field of view. You can see the reflected energy here is from the object about 20 feet away. Where the tech scope came in very handy during development was in the ability to easily delay the time base after the trigger and look closely at the received signal in the area of interest. Here we can see we have one milliseconds per division and an audio signal at about five kilohertz. Now we will use the built-in FFT capability on the tech scope. We will measure the signal to noise ratio on our received signal correlated to the displayed area on channel one in the time base settings. With a setting of two and a half kilohertz per division, we can see the signal peaks at about five kilohertz. We can set a cursor at this point, remove the object from the field of view, and set a second cursor. We can then see that we have a signal to noise ratio of about 24 dB for this particular object at this distance. We can also use the display persistence settings to make reading the noisy measurements easier. First we'll do it without the object present and then we'll add the object back in. We can then save the results to the thumb drive to use as documentation in our engineering notebook. We use this method to evaluate performance of our system while making changes to the design of our system. Just to recap what we measured, we are measuring signal to noise of a received signal in a time scanned system at a point 40 milliseconds delayed or 20 feet distance from our radar sensor. I hope you enjoyed this and I would really appreciate your vote.